Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, we are going to be graphing, and we're graphing equations that are in slope-intercept form. So let's look at a line on a graph real quick. Okay, so here is a line, and any line that's on a graph has an equation that's attached to it. And it has x's and y's involved. And so the key points on the line are, first of all, we identify the place where the line is going to the y-axis. And so that's at negative 2. And so we call that the y-intercept. Okay, negative 2. Now we're going to find the slope. And the slope is the rate of change that the line is going up or down. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pick two points on the line, and we're going to try to pick them on ones that go through what I call lattice points, or uh, bullseye, or crosshairs, anything like that, where it is it, it has two perfect numbers as its ordered pair. And so we could have used that y-intercept, but I'm just going to use these two so you can see those are going right through where two lines intersect. And so what we're going to do is we're going to look at the rise, which goes up 3 and over 2, and so the slope for this one is 3 over 2. It goes up 3 over 2. And we call this the rise over the run. The rise is how much it goes up or down, and the run is how much it goes over. So, with that being said, let's look at an equation. This one's in slope-intercept form. And so we're going to first identify the y-intercept. So that's b. And in this case, it's negative 2. So since b is our y-intercept, um, we're going to put that there for negative 2, and then find our slope. And that's the number in front of x, the coefficient, which happens to be 1 half, our rise over run. So here's how to graph it. We start with the y-intercept at negative 2, and we put a point there. Okay, and then from that point, we are going to use our slope to find our next point. So we go up 1 over 2, and we put a point there. And then you can do it again, go up 1 over 2, and it doesn't matter how many points you put here. I like to put a lot when I'm writing it by hand so I know that my line is accurate, but you really only need two points. And then we're going to put a line through it, and you have just graphed your equation. All right, let's try a couple more. So this one right here, y equals negative 2x plus 1. We want to first identify our y-intercept, b, which is 1, and our slope, which is m, and that is negative 2. And so we start with y-intercept, which is 1. So we put a dot there on our graph. And then we are going to use the slope to find our next point. But this is doesn't have a rise over run, does it? Well, it really does, because negative 2 is really negative 2 over 1. So we go down 2 over 1. So we will do that from our y-intercept, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, and so on. And then we put our line through it, and we have graphed it. Not so bad. All right, here's another one. y equals x minus 4. So we have our slope-intercept form, our b, that y-intercept, is negative 4. Okay. And then our slope looks like it's missing. But we know there's always a 1 in front of an x that doesn't have a number in front of it. So our slope is 1. So we take our y-intercept of negative 4, we plot a point, and then we use our slope, which is 1, but really it's 1 over 1, the rise and run. And so we go up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. And just remember that we, when you uh, are doing the run, you always go to the right. And then we put our line through it, and we've got it. That's how simple it really is. Well, you just learned how to graph slope-intercept equations. 
hope it helped. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.